Hey guys, it's Lori. You want to hang out with me today? All right, let's hang out. I'm going to show you real quick my um, get out of the house routine in the morning. Let's make some iced coffee. I have a K-cup brewing over ice on the smallest cup setting. Then I'm going to add some of this Hershey's chocolate caramel with splashes all over the lid and all. Oh, bummer. That's okay. I have a stash. I'm stocked up in the spare fridge. Good to go. Yes. This little trick right here, I learned this on TikTok. I thought it was pretty cool. Put the lid on like this, smack it a couple times, give it a twist, and ta-da, it's open. All right, let's add a little bit more of that cream, some ice, stir it up, and we're good to go. And over here, I have stuff set out, so I'm ready to start dinner when I get home. I have my iced coffee here, and I need to take a taste because I haven't take, taken a taste of it yet, and I hope it's good because sometimes sometimes I get too much cream or not enough, and we'll see. Mm, it's perfect. Not too much cream and perfect coffee flavor. Couldn't find my keys this morning. I was like, what? Where did I put my keys? They're not hanging up. They're supposed to be hanging up. I always hang my keys up. As soon as I get in the house, it's just habit. Hang my keys up. Well, this morning I did not hang them up. I couldn't find them anywhere. So I had to think back. I had to backtrack. What did I do this morning? I took Hayden to school. So I know I had my keys then. Came home. I'm like, ah, yes. I went straight to Hayden's room and there they were laying on his dresser. I go into his room in the morning to make sure his lights shut off and I make his bed. Then I go in and I make my bed and that's how I start my day. Right now I am off to job number one, then I'll head to job number two, then believe it or not I am doing a Walmart pickup today. Yes I am. It's just a small one and actually there's one thing I needed to add. Oh I forgot. I gotta do it right now before my time runs out that I can add things to it. I am so glad that I did that because I never even submitted the order. I wouldn't probably wondered why aren't they sending me my notification that says my order's ready yet? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad. I just remembered that yesterday John told me he was out of green apples. He has to have his green apples. He eats one every single day in his lunch. Added that on and I actually submitted my order. Luckily I still got my time that I wanted. So right after my second job I'll be able to head over, pick it up, come home, and make dinner. Which I will show you. I'm gonna make dinner with you guys today. How's that sound? sounds good to me. All right, let's go to work. Job number one is done and she came home just as I was finishing up. So that was nice. I haven't talked to her in forever. I broke a nail, snagged a nail, I should say. So, oh good. There is a nail file in there. Wasn't sure if I had a nail file in here. I know I do in the flex. I have like everything, everything in the flex pretty much. Okay. The air's coming on because I am absolutely burning up right now. You probably knew I was going to say that at some point, huh? Before I go to my next job, I do have to stop and get some gas real quick because my gas light is on and I usually fill this up before it comes on. So, oh boy, there goes all the money I just made at this job. I'm pretty sure that's a stopped train up there. So that's perfect. I need to go on the other side of the tracks for the gas station. And that is why I don't think the trains are cool. I really don't. It happens multiple times a week. A person can run out of gas around here before they get across the tracks. The gas pump is ridiculously slow, but the other one's out of service. It's not much faster, so yeah, they're sad. <laughs> Am I about done complaining yet? Yeah, I think so. But you know what the trains though, when you live on the other side of the emergency vehicle station. Stop trains are scary. They really are. Cause just a few minutes it takes to go around the train, whichever way you go, whether you go over the overpass that way, or you go that way and go around the highway, there's two different ways to get around them, but both ways take a few minutes. So that could be a matter of life and death. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Okay. Rant over. I'm done going to my next job. <laughs> Just waiting on my Walmart order to come out right now. And I have a receipt from my gas. And here's another receipt that was hanging out of the gas pump when I got there and I grabbed it because I'm gonna scan it. That's what I do. If I find a receipt laying around, I grab it. This is another receipt that I'm gonna scan today because I had to stop at Tim Hortons. Had to, right? <laughs> I just really wanted a hazelnut ice cap. So I got one. He's coming right now with my is that my order? Oh my goodness, what did I order? 
Oh yeah, bottled water. That's why it's so big. Check out the description box down below and sign up for Fetch Awards and use my code. It's in the description box. I would love it. Right now, for the next few days, I get bonus points and so do you. If you use my code to sign up for Fetch Rewards, as soon as you snap your first receipt, I get my bonus points. It's so easy. You just have to take a picture of your receipt. If you don't get the whole thing in, it's not a problem. Just take another picture of the rest of it, submit it, and get your points. They add up quick. You can get a gift card to the retailer of your choice. There's so, so many to choose from. It's ridiculous. There's so many to choose from, guys, really. And you can even get gift cards for Walmart and place your pickup order and use the gift card that you earned from Fetch Rewards for paying for your groceries. You know, you can get Amazon gift cards, which is what I usually do. It's either Walmart or Amazon. So it's just too easy not to do it. It's really nice to come home and have everything sitting out ready for me to start dinner. John and Chase are sitting behind me at the table right now, apparently having a conversation about DC Comics. <laughs> All right, let's get this ground beef going. And I already actually put some of this in, but I'm gonna put more in, some of this chopped onion or minced onion, if you will. And I made some homemade taco seasoning. I always have it made and ready to go. But I'm gonna sprinkle some of that in, get that going. And if I'm being honest, I already, well, I thought I recorded this once already, but apparently I didn't hit record. So it already had some of that seasoning in it. So I'm just adding some more for video purposes. All right, I'm gonna throw in some water to get that. A little bit of water in with it. And I thought I'd get this started and have it cooking while I show you my Walmart. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this Walmart haul. If you wanna know the prices, I wrote the prices on everything. I got some half and half, a gallon of spring water for watering my plants. We've got some Coke Zero. There's the price. Some Granny Smith apples, a three pound bag. And I got the two pack of the Equate brand saline solution. We got a jar of whipped salad dressing, whipped dressing, just like Miracle Whip. And that is for some tuna sandwiches, which is what this is also for. Hayden likes to take these in his lunch. We got pickle relish that also goes in the tuna salad sandwiches. Some daisy sour cream. Some Skippy Super Chunk Peanut Butter. I really just wanted regular crunchy peanut butter, but this is really the only thing I could find. So at least on the pickup thing. And enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce. This is the mild. I got two cans of the mild. There's the price for that. And I also ordered two cans of medium, but they didn't have medium. So they substituted it with two more cans of mild. Okay, that's fine. I could have refused it and I didn't. So no problem all right we've got a case of purified water this is the 40 pack and propel hayden really really likes the propel so i don't care for spinning quite that much but that's okay it's got electrolytes and it's flavored this is an 18 pack and let's go ahead and make dinner i've got the ground beef browning get that browned up and we're going to go ahead and make some taco pie tonight the meat's all cooked up, ready to go. We got our enchilada sauce, some enchilada sauce already in the meat, some in the bottom of the pan. I warm these up because it makes them easier to spread. The shells I'm using, the rest of these up, they've been open. They're not stale, but they're gonna be soon. So I'm just gonna use up the rest of these and the rest of it's gonna be low carb shells. So what I do is I take a shell and I spread across some refried beans. Don't have to be, you know, perfect about it whatsoever but this is how I do it and lay that down whoops well okay that's okay <laughs> that's all right it's all going to be cooked together anyway all right spread this across again and lay it down in the bottom. Oh, I forgot the cheese. How could I forget the cheese? All right, we've got Mexican style cheese from Aldi. And that is what we're gonna use for this. All right, put some meat across the bottom. And some cheese. This would be when you would go ahead and add some peppers or onions or salsa or tomatoes, whatever you want to put on it. 
I keep it simple because not everybody likes all that stuff, so they can put it on when they eat it, if they want it. Okay, here we go. I like to get some sauce on the edges. And just so you know, yes, I'm aware that the refried beans are not low carb. So why use the low carb shells? Why not? Why not save a few carbs? And guess what? We really like these. <laughs> low carb or not, we really like those shells. Since I used up that last one, I have an odd number of shells. Not a big deal. <laughs> oh, here I go. Not putting the cheese on again. Also, not a big deal. Okay. The last layer is again again with forgetting the cheese what is going on you know what this is going to be super cheesy i don't have much left in there dump it on why not okay so there's that top it off with tortillas just regular tortillas with nothing on them and the rest of the enchilada sauce there and I like to spread it to the edges so they don't get dried out okay a little sauce here on this edge and we're gonna bake this at 300 350 for about let's do 15 minutes and see what happens I'll let you know how long it was in okay here we go I left it in for about 20 minutes altogether and this is it it's real nice and bubbly. If you leave it sit for about five minutes or so, it won't be quite as runny. So I recommend doing that. And you can cut it however you want, cut it in triangles, cut it however you want. I made some Spanish rice to go with it, some sour cream, we have some shredded lettuce, some salsa here, and there is some hot sauce because I did use mild. I was gonna use the medium, but it was out of stock at the store, so I used the mild. Here's some hot if you want it to be a little bit spicier. Right. This is how I cut it. Okay, so now we have some different sizes here. So everybody can take whatever they want of this. And this stuff is so good. Here, take some of this out, see if I can make it not fall apart and show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at that. Oh yeah, this stuff is really filling by the way. It really doesn't take much to fill you up. It's deceptively filling. Alrighty, let's eat. <laughs> 